welcome to the latest demonstration of the um, Spotlight Virtual Tribunals work cycle. Uh, we've been working primarily on our internationalization features in Spotlight. Uh, what you see here is um, just a version of um, the feature branch that we've been working in the Spotlight code base locally on my computer. Um, I have a test exhibit here, and what you can see is that we've added um, a new tab in the general configuration section for languages. Uh, when I go to that tab, you can see that we uh, will have all of the available locales that are in your system um, in a dropdown uh, available to be selected. Um, in this exhibit, I've already selected Italian as a language, but just to kind of... Uh, show this working um, you know we can we can add additional languages here um, and we have the ability to um, remove them and uh, make them public or make them private um, so they are private by default and so what this means is as um, a person who has permissions to view this exhibit as like a curator or an administrator i can see the exhibit um, translated into this locale, but uh, an anonymous user coming to the exhibit uh, would not be able to. Um, so say for instance, um, on this screen, I'm just visiting this exhibit as an anonymous user. And because I haven't created, uh, I haven't published any of those languages, I'm not getting um, a locale switcher. But back uh, as the administrator for this exhibit, um, you can see that I have uh, I'm not only uh, the default English, um, but I also have um, both Italian and uh, Portuguese uh, available to me in the dropdown so I can view it. Um, just for fun, I will also uh, you know, publish, say, just uh, Italian. Um, and if I were to go back as my anonymous user now, um, I will get the dropdown. So now that I have the ability to switch my exhibit from Italian to uh, English to Italian. Um, so going back uh, to being an administrator, um, once you have added a languages to your exhibit, you will get into the, in the curation section. Oh, and I should mention that the languages uh, administration is only gonna be available to somebody with the administrat administrator um, privilege, not uh, the curator privilege, as it is in the configuration section up here. Um, but once the, uh, any language has been added, we will add a translations link into the curation section. Um, this is available to be uh, accessed by a, an admin or a, somebody with the curator um, role. Um, so you can see we have uh, both of the languages that uh, we've selected for this exhibit, Italian and Portuguese, uh, available. Um, if I click to Portuguese, you'll see I've got these same um, uh, form fields, but uh, you'll notice I've filled out some of these for um, Italian. Uh, and using the magic of Google Translate and a complete uh, lack of handle on the Italian language, I've um, translated some of the values uh, that you can see here. Um, that uh, What these are for the main menu uh, are, say, home, curated features, browse about. So these are actually the labels that will appear um, here. We so far have added support for um, configuring the exhibit title. Uh, uh, subtitle and um, description. So we can see once I've saved the changes here, because I've added um, the uh, Italian translation, uh, you now I, I've got a green check mark next to this field. And so you can see I've actually uh, done all the translation except for one, uh, the subtitle. Um, it is also worth mentioning that uh, because the English, the default English translation did not have a, a subtitle, um, that's why you're not seeing anything down here while um, it does have an exhibit. So this is showing the default um, English value. Uh, so if I go back, uh, or rather if I just pop over um, here into uh, Italian, you will now see that um, I'm getting my translated title and the exhibit title, as well as uh, the values that I chose for um, these four uh, tabs. Um, likewise, we can do the same thing um, uh, for Brazilian, Portuguese. Um, so we've got the basic settings in the main menu. Um, we've also so far added support for browse categories. Um, so uh, again, through the magic of Google Translate, I've translated what all exhibit items would be in Italian. Um, and also because uh, this particular um, 
browse category has a description. Um, I'm given the option to um, uh, translate the description here. If I were, uh, if this particular browse category did not have a description associated with it, I, this, this field would not show up. Um, and what you can see here uh, is if I go into the uh, browse, we are actually um, translating that here as well. Um, because I haven't translated the description, uh, kind of one of the behaviors that I just did want to call, call out um, is that we do fall back uh, to the English translation. So you'll notice that uh, here where we show the description, um, because I haven't translated it into, um, into Italian, it's not going to show just nothing in the Italian page. It will fall back to the, uh, to the English version, um, which was uh, uh, kind of described in our, in our um, uh, designs. Wait, so can I ask a question? So you were saying that if it, it said uh, description, it was because there's an English description, so it's prompting you to do an Italian description, but it doesn't show you what that English description was? Uh, yeah, no, actually, let me pop back over and to, um, yeah, sorry, I, I kind of closed it really quickly. Uh, no, it, it, it will show you uh, similar to all the other, um, uh, there's just not, not a very big description. Oh, it's that's the default, the yeah, yeah, the, yeah the def this is uh, just the default browse category that gets generated for you automatically when you create an exhibit, which is just the category that encompasses every item in your exhibit. Um, so yeah, this is just the default text that um, gets thrown in there. So yes, yeah, so that, that's the, the default English translation. And no matter which language um, I'm in, I always get what the default, um, the, the default English. For us, it's English. The way we're actually building this is if I you know, was a spotlight adopter and I wanted to have the default language of my site be something completely different, mm -hmm. um, we're trying to build it so that would be possible. But for us, it's going to be English. So if, if that were the case, if you chose a different default, would like basic settings and main menu when you're doing all this be in whatever that default language? Um, yes. Yeah, so we we don't have those lang we don't have all this UI translated. But if you were an adopter that wanted to translate the entire admin UI for your site, and mm -hmm. you know, hopefully for us, you you would commit that uh, as a, a contribution back up to Spotlight itself because we would love to have those. But yeah, this. Is, theoretically is done in a way where if somebody wanted that and wanted to provide the translations could have the entire admin UI in another language if they wanted. Okay.